Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of the Ultimate World Survivor Series where we go from nothing to something, already done Division 1, now it's getting prepped for Team of the Year. Now as this video goes live guys, this is done before the new Team of the Week. So what we're aiming to do today is we're going to save these packs to just before the Team of the Week is going to be opening and uh, we got a chance to get two Team of the Weeks in one, which is about quarter to six on a Wednesday afternoon. But we're going to play one more draft as well and uh, hopefully get some decent packs in there. So as you can see we've got, two, I think it was... Um, it was two mega packs and one premium gold pack, which is pretty good. And hopefully we can get some decent players in there. So like I said, guys, we're going to do a draft today and hopefully get a winner's, uh, winner's entry anyway. If not, we're just going to be fucking pissing coins, Andre, and hopefully that isn't the aim. But if you guys do want MSP, PSN codes, or cheap game codes, go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. If we're trying to hit over 5,000 likes... That'd be awesome as always, and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. So the Road to Glory took a bit of a change. The reason it took a change, I'm looking at these formations and thinking which one to go with. I'm going to go with the 4-3-3, just because I feel like two strikers are wasted, and the five of the back ones do cause me trouble, but I don't want to play with them. So we're going to go with 4-3-3. Um, three, three. Hopefully going to get a decent captain anyway. Yeah, but we to oh shit. Hmm. Ebra. Not a fan of Ebra anymore. As as much as it pains me to say that guy's not a fan of Ebra. So I think I'm going to go with um, Ronaldo. That's what we're going to be doing. Um, yeah, so it's took a change. It's 100% draft now uh, to get some coins for Team of the Year. Hopefully we can get in a million coin account. And I think that'll be the end of the series if we can manage to get that. So we're going to start off on the bench. We get Bale. Right, sorted. Right, next player. Not that good. So we're going to take someone we potentially could use. There's no... I think I have to take Brozovic. Heavily linked with Arsenal as well, but I'm going to go and take Evandro. Um, hopefully get to use him. Gr Inform Griezmann at striker. That would be a nice one. May play him at centre mid, dependent. We get Turan, who we don't need. Danilo, I'll take him. And then hopefully we can get enough links on this reserves to get some hybrids in there. Um, going to take... Don't even need any of these players. Um... I'm going to take Debucci just in case. So we're going to take Danilo there. Actually, we'll sort it out. So, we, so we'll check Striker now. Um, these are replacements. Oh, shit. The alternatives. Lewandowski is good. Uh, may get messy. I don't know. Lewandowski. Or, uh, who would you guys take here? Muller would be a nice one in midfield. But I'm thinking as a backup striker... Yeah, I'm going to go with Lewandowski, just because I know he's fucking good. Uh, we've used him in the World's Glory already. Really enjoyed him. I'm going to put him there. We then get no one who I need. So I'm going to take Lucas. I'm going to take Di Maria. These choices, man. And what's the other one? Right back. And we'll check right back as well to see what we get here. So we get Carvajal, Klein. Um... I'm going to take Carvajal because potentially Danilo could be playing centre-back by the looks of this. So we'll swap out the team as it does look now. Um, get it to full chem, obviously. Well, as much chem as we can. And uh, Danilo will be jumping in there. But potentially Danilo might be playing centre-back. But we'll check this centre-mid link and see what we get here. Bruno Kovacic. I'm going to take Kovacic. I used him in a draft today and really enjoyed him. So I'll go with him. Two strong links. Get a centre-back. Hopefully Pepe or Varane. Or no one. That would be absolutely awesome as well. Um, so I'll take Arribas temporarily. Take him. Um, swap him with him. And then unless we get anyone else, that's how it's going to look. Because Danilo at centre-back is a very, very good player, uh, partner. In the centre midfield position. Come on, give us someone good. Give us someone good. Verratti. Or Vidal. For hybrid purposes, I'm going to take Vidal because we have got Lewandowski sat there as well. Um, but hopefully we're going to try and get another centre midfielder who is from La Liga, which hasn't happened. And we haven't got anyone. For fuck's sake. Pastore, perfect link to Di Maria. May do summer. Don't know if it would do summer. If I put him there, put him maybe at striker. Put him there. Uh, Di Maria there. Him there. This is a mess. This is a fucking mess. Hopefully it gets sorted out though, anyway. But these are the links we need to fill. So if we go with Gaia. Ah, he doesn't get anyone. Gaia doesn't get anything. But we do have Spanish. A, do we have a Spanish centre back? No, we don't. We don't have a Spanish centre back. So I'll go with Gaia. Just because he's good. Centre back. Zuma, fuck, we should have gone with Cliche. 
Abdenar. There we are. Abdenar gets a link as well. And you guys did point out that I missed that uh, thing last time around as well. Send, uh, goal key position. This is where we need someone big. We got Navas. Gets a strong link to Danilo in case you decide to hybridize it up. Um, and 85 reflex as well. So go with him, even though I don't really trust the keeper. And we haven't got any better alternatives. But we need a centre mid. Two centre mids is the aim. And then the team's basically done it. It's La Liga again. I was hope, hoping to hybridize it, but it's not worked. We've got the highest rate keeper, um, which is Consigli. Don't need him anyway. Centre back, Musaccio Godin. Shit, or uh, Boateng. What links would Boateng give me? I'm looking at this, guys, and thinking just play La Liga to be on the safe side. And I'm thinking about getting Godin. Yeah. I'm going to have to play it safe, guys, and go um, and play La Liga. Marcello, Silva, fuck. Brazilian left back. Ogaya, or do I take Naldo? I'm, I'm hoping that I'm getting a centre mid. That's what I'm hoping to get. We did run right with Silva yesterday. Um, I'm going to take... I'm going to take Silva because the defence is alright now, currently. Because it would look like this. If we do it like that, it sort of looks normal-ish. We need new centre, We need two centre mids though. That's the aim, to get two decent centre midfielders from La Liga. Casemiro would work because he would get a perfect link um, with Danilo. Bale up there, then that's that done. We're 94 chem currently. I know you guys can't see it, but we have a 94 chem. Uh, we'll go with Lalana, I guess rated. Please give me two centre mids. Connor Plyanka. Um, I can I can tell already, guys, that I've missed some and I don't know what it is, but oh, fuck fuck off, fuck off. Um, go Van Anhol. Right, I'm a solid team, guys. See what we get. Currently. Like this on 94 chem, but I know we can get it better. Right, guys, so we've got it to 100 chem. It's not a good-looking team, though. We've got... In, it's not a good-looking team, but it looks all right. Now, it looks reasonably good. I am definitely going to make some substitutions straight away, though. I think I'm going to take Casemiro off for of Vidal um, and then save Lewandowski for Griezmann. I'm going to give Griezmann a chance. And uh, if we need to make a change, I will be bringing on uh, Silva, Lewandowski, and uh, potentially Vidal as well. It's a shame that I couldn't, in some like with this formation, use like a link from right wing to centre mid to centre back. But that's a decision I've made. So hopefully we can get some manager to give us a little bit more chem. Maybe La Liga. Uh, he works on one player. Fuck. No players. No players. Italian. No players. Italian no players, so it's going to have to be uh, uh, Martin has jumped into the team. And it's given us a 185 rated draft anyway. A good looking one. Whether we can do it or not, that's a different thing. But I think I'm feeling confident. And hopefully this team does absolutely smash. But hopefully, we, well, guys, I don't want to be giving up the 15,000 coins without potentially getting a good player or a good pack. So let's uh, get on into it and hopefully go on that four game win streak. So guys, we've been dealt a really good team, but coming up against also very good teams. Now looking at the state of the teams at the beginning, there's no point in doing it because the amount of substitutions which are made in draft is ridiculous and it adds to the fun as well because I don't really check the uh, lineup of the players. But in the first game, we actually uh, coming up against someone pretty good, a nice ball through here and uh, he's able to muscle me off, which was very, very annoying. Couldn't get the ball off him. A nice link up there with Ronaldo, who smashes it near post and makes it 1-0 in the 34th minute. Now, guys, I hate going out of drafts in the first round. You know this by um, by the amount of times I've done drafting, going out in the first round. It frustrates the fuck out of me, and uh, unless I win it, I'm really annoyed. But a long through ball there through to Gaia. Gaia, well, got very lucky here with Ronaldo selling a fake shot and uh, smashing it in the bottom corner to make it 1-1 in the 36th minute. Nice little... F Actually, it was Griezmann. I thought it was Ronaldo then, but Ronaldo... Actually, no, it was Ronaldo took the shot, but it took a deflection off Griezmann's foot. Ronaldo yet again selling him on the inside and then uh, cutting on it. And this for this shot into the far corner does make it 2-1 in the 40th minute. We were able to put the nail in the coffin 
A little bit later as well, I have some terrible defending here and Griezmann actually started to enjoy Griezmann. I don't think I'll pick him in any other draft again, no, just because unless I'm forced to, I don't really want to, but I'm, unless I'm forced to, I might have to. So Gareth Bell getting on the score sheet there just for a half time, making it 3-1 and uh, then we're able to counter, keep on going. Gaia, honestly, was the most constructive player in the team. A nice chip there from Lewandowski who we brought on as a super sub and uh, makes it 4-1 in the 67th minute. But this guy kept on going. No, there was no stopping in this guy, um, he does manage to get the ball ball on through to Neymar. Neymar selling defender, I have no idea what he does, but a brilliant shot there into the top corner. Navas couldn't do anything and makes it 4-2. Then we continue, com oh, well, we do continue, and his keeper was just pissing around. He was pissing around. In the 89th minute, we do make it 5-2, and uh, that did ensue a rage quit from my opponent, which I wasn't going to complain about. So we move into the next game, guys, and uh, we come up against a nice-looking team. This is probably the, maybe the first or second time we come up against record breaker Vardy. Um, also, legend Hadji as well, formation, which I do like and struggle against, and also myself in the goalkeeper position as well. Now, this opponent was very... Very strong at defending, couldn't break him through, and uh, a nice ball here from Hadji straight through to Vardy, and Vardy's having a party, and uh, chat shit, get banged, uh, takes advantage, 1-0 to him. But in the 71st minute, we were finally able to get that breakthrough, ball over to Conor Plianka, and uh, messing around in the area, surprise was able to run past the players, squares it over, and Pastore makes it 1-1. I was honestly sweating this game out like a motherfucker, and uh, getting the reward there with the uh, with the equaliser, uh, but direct from a failed free kick for myself, guys, he pushed up in the 80th minute and he's playing a counter-attacking football I absolutely hate brought the keeper out and who's there to score the second goal of his game and it is Vardy Party right guys you join me on a second round fucking exit annoyed at this one and the reason I'm annoyed is because I've been talking about the way certain people play he was letting me sponge him took advantage of the fast players and I just could not do anything. The team felt like fucking shit. And when we pulled the goal, he got that one lucky opportunity and it was a fuck up by my mistake. As you can see, guys, he probably deserved it looking at the stats, but he did not feel like it. I don't know if I can show you any of the highlights. I might have put some in here. Um, some of the misses were absolutely horrendous. This one probably isn't a decent one anyway, is it? No, that was an accidental fake shot. This one was a miss from his corner. Yellow card. Where's my misses at? My misses won't even be in there. My misses aren't even in there. What a fuck. Oh, we're there. That might have been Summit. How we never scored this, I will never know. This was ridiculous. Um, took a deflection as well and uh, bounced straight to the keeper. Fucking horrendous shot. And uh, this is where the series could be made or made, broken or made, guys. But we are going to um, do another draft, I think, before Team of the Week. These pa this pack we're going to get now is going to be completely shit. Premium gold pack, premium gold pack, gold pack. Now, unless some at good sat in there, we won't know. But we have got six packs stacked up for Team of the Week. I'm going to play one more draft uh, before Team of the Week, guys, and see what we get in there. 